YouTube, how's everyone doing? This is Big Country Time and I'm back with another video. So today, you can see in front of me, we have a bunch of uh, online purchases that arrived. So we'll be opening these. We got a Funko Shop, we got Amazon, we have three Target, and I picked up some more uh, older Star Wars Pops. So, in this box right here, I have quite a few older, more grails to me, maybe not grails to you, but we have some nice Star Wars pickups. So if you want to see what's in this box, stand by. We'll open these up at the end. Before that, we'll open up these other purchases. All right, so let's do it. So let me just kind of move these ones out of the way. We'll start off with some Target. Um, these are some of the newer ones. They just came in. They've been coming in the last couple days, kind of sporadic. So here we are, we've got the trusty knife. Like I said, you never know when you need to open a box. All right, all right. So how's everyone doing out there in the YouTube world? Hopefully you're having a good day like me. It is my day off. It is a nice, I think it's about 85 degrees out here in California. So here we go, we'll go do the first one. Let's check out, see how the packaging is by Target. You know how they are, hit and miss. So here we go, already see some good type bubble wrap. It's all the way around the pop. Pop is looking good, looking good. I don't see anything majorly wrong with it right off the bat. So let's just stick him up there for now. Throw this over there. And let's check this one out. So this is a new line of Star Wars Pops that is coming out. I think it was my last video or the one prior to that I showed, uh, I think it was Darth Vader. So here we go on the back, shows a uh, comic book version. And you can see he's kind of, his clothes is kind of animated looking. You get a little closer look. But uh, that's a cool one. Like I said, we did get Darth Vader recently. Um, yep, Darth Vader's already up on the board. We had gotten the Stormtrooper recently too. So I'm not sure if you guys recall. You can check out the comic book version of the Trooper. Very cool, very cool. So we'll go to the next one. Also a Target. It out come from this side and there again bubble wrap is really good should not have any issues with the pop it's really packed in really good and here we go it is my online purchase of the trooper and this one does have a little damage on the bottom so I'm not sure looks like the bottom was jammed in there I'm not sure if someone opened it up and closed it so let's take a look at it. This is a duplicate. So it's kind of lucky that I picked a couple up at the store. So you can see the tab is bent. So that might have happened at the manufacturer. So since this is a duplicate, let's check it out. If I can open it. He does not want to. You can go get a little close-up, a little bobblehead going on, and they almost look like they should glow in the dark. I don't think they do. Almost look like maybe a black light or a glow in the dark. But uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, like I said, this one will be an extra. And if you were unable to get it, I may. Maybe use this as a giveaway or uh, may uh, put it up. These were pretty widely available to get, so I'm not sure how the, the need for these are. Like I said, the box is a little bit damaged, but uh, once you close it, not too bad. So I'll put that right there. All right, box number three from Target. 
So I believe this is going to be another one from the set. Not sure which one. They're shipping them all out individually when I ordered them all together. Alright, so here we go. And this is also a duplicate. I did pick up Darth Vader in the store. Wasn't sure how or if I would receive my online purchases because Target has been delaying them, canceling orders. So if you see it in the store, you just have to get it. And I believe Darth Vader, uh, Will from Sick Pops, did pick it up for me. So um, this one's in really good shape. Compared to that one, they're both pretty, pretty nice shape. So we won't take this one out of the box yet. So we'll just do that. All right. So that was my target pickups. Two of them are duplicates. One I did not have yet. I do have some other ones coming in from that set. Hold on for a second. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Let's check out the Funko Shop. I did have two of these. I uh, got one for my coworker, so I had already opened the box. But here we are with Pietro Maximoff, the long-awaited. So was happy to get this one. Here we go, Pietro. So this is an awesome one. I do collect a few, uh, you know. Marvel, this is from WandaVision, but this was a very, very interesting one. So, I have to find a spot for this one to go. Throw him right up there. On the back, we have a Scarlet Witch, Vision, Monica Rambo, and Agatha Harkness. So, there you go. You can see Pietro running. You got the other, other pops in the back. And. I think this is the only one I did get from the collection. I slept on the other ones. But awesome, awesome. Um, next we have a Amazon box. It's a pretty big box. Um, not sure which one this is. If it's more than one, maybe, maybe not even a pop. So let's check it out. It's more than one, all right? So uh, put this off to the side. We'll pull them out one at a time. And I'm kind of surprised they pile them all in there together because now we have some damage. So we have Hunter. We can so see some major creasage right there. Top is a little bowed up and there's a little bit of creasage right here. That's kind of bad. So Target stepped it up. But uh, Amazon continued on their little flakiness, trying to squeeze everything into one box. All right, so fill up number two, we have tech. And uh, here we go, throw a sticker right on the top of the box, because we all like to put the labels on there. So if it wasn't for that sticker, this box would be pretty good. We got tech. We got hunter. Oh, I don't want to blur me out. All right, we got another one from this series. We have crosshair. So this one, this is the best box so far. No stickers on top. No creasage. So you guys get a little close up of that one. So that's three out of the five. Which one are we missing? Did we, we got Crosshair, Hunter, so we're missing Echo and Wrecker. All right, so I got two more in here. And these ones have to be in some sorters. So which one is this? Upside down. 
go. Ooh, here we go. We got the Amazon exclusive crosshair with pin. Nice. I like these ones with the little pins in them. Those are pretty nice. Here we go. Crosshair. Which so we'll put crosshair on top of crosshair. Right there. And so I assume this next one is also in the sorter, so it's probably going to be the other one with a pin. Alright. Here we go. Pop two with pin. It says on the sorter. There we go. And this one is Hunter with pin. There we go. You guys can see it. Get a little close up of the pin. So from this set, I do have the other two somewhere. Where did I put them? Where did I put them? With this new setup, stuff's all over the place. So, trying to look, trying to look. Man, whenever I'm looking now, I can't find the stuff I need. You guys are probably looking right at them. Okay, here they are. So, here is Echo and Wrecker from that set and Omega. So, those are the five that they have. Well, I don't have tech, though. Where is tech? I know I ordered tech, so we'll have to look for that one. Alright, so how are we doing so far out there? I mean, look at all these pops I got. We got five, six, seven, eight, nine pops so far. So I'm running out of room here. Let's put some of these down, and we're going to make room for some of these Star Wars. Grails, some older Star Wars pops that you don't see recently. All right, so here we go. Here is the box. We'll start pulling them one at a time. Um, so this one is not very old, but it is none other than Chewbacca. We have the Star Wars Celebration exclusive sticker. So I have this pop already, but I did not have the exclusive. So I got that one to replace him. So he is somewhere around here. Um, right over here, we got him, we'll re replace that one. So we got Chewbacca, all right. And to go with that one, we have Darth Vader. So same thing, I had this one already, but needed to get the Star Wars Celebration sticker. So here we go. Here it is right here. I have the regular uh, shared sticker. So we'll replace that one and put this one up there. Um, still missing um, Starkiller and the Boba Fett. I don't think I got those, uh, but you never know, down the road, we'll have to pick those up. All right, also another one I did have, I had the shirt sticker, but we got, we got Yoda with the Comic-Con sticker. This is going to be limited edition Funko. This is, uh, which one is this? Oh, can't even see it. Emerald, Emerald City Comic-Con. So I'm not sure where this one is. All right. So there we go, it's right up there. We'll be replacing that. You can see I got the shirt sticker and now I have the Comic-Con. So that's what I've been doing lately. Um, slowly trying to upgrade my pops, trying to get the ones I don't have. If I have a shirt sticker, I will try to get the Comic-Con. And then obviously trying to get older pops. So for an older pop, let's check out. Ooh, Grand Moth. Harkin. This guy is a badass. So if you guys watch Star Wars, you know about Grand Moff Tarkin. This guy has been around on most of the, the older ones. They uh, re 
digitize them in the newer ones. So uh, definitely a cool one to add. Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Exclusive. I did not get this. Was not getting. Was not collecting pops when this came out. So on the back, he comes with Darth Vader. So such a nice one to add. Definitely have to make room for these pops. So talking about Darth Vader, none other than Darth Vader. So this is not the one from that series. This is going to be from Rogue One. Target, oh, no, GameStop exclusive. So did not have this one in my Darth Vader set. I do have the Darth Vader Smuggler Bounty that we were talking about. So um, this one will be going up there. Adding a couple more Darth Vaders up there. I know I have a full shelf of these. So put him over here. Gotta see. Uh, leave room for some upcoming pops. I do have one more classic Star Wars grill. So this one is a favorite. It's a movie scene. Favorite scene to many classic Star Wars fans. So let's bring it out. It's a little bit banged up, but who does not like this scene? in Star Wars. So move these out of the way. We'll give you guys a close-up. We have Jabba the Hutt, Jabba the Hutt, Princess Leia, and the slave outfit. Bam, you guys get a close-up. So, and then we have this dude, Crumb. Salicious Crumb. So awesome, awesome. Like I said, does it's a little bit damage right there but uh, a little bit older so I'm gonna have to make room up in the shelf this is gonna be going up with the other ones of the series we have the Rancor we have the Wampa we have the Dewback so um, this is definitely an awesome one to add to the set so don't really see this one that often but awesome awesome so, put this over here. This is going to be the main attraction. So, that is what I have today. How many pops is that? We have six, nine, um, 12, 15 pops today. No mystery box, but this was a lot, a lot of pops to take in. Um, let me know what is your favorite. Let me try to put them all out here so you can see. I don't know if I can really narrow mine down. But, um, here we go. Awesome, awesome. Not sure how that's coming in. But, um, here we go. Definitely awesome addition. Gonna have to go with Jabba Hutt and Slave Leia for the win. So that is it. It's big country time. That's all we have for today. Stand by for the next video. We will be doing another mystery box. Probably we'll be doing um, another mystery grail. Um, even though it looks like mystery grail may be kind of dying out a little bit. The last week I believe they didn't completely sell out the release day. Now they do have a new mystery box coming out during the middle of the week. I haven't tried that one yet, but um, that's what we're going to be doing next. So um, that's it. Big country time. Out.